Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we haven't run out of ideas, but we do like giving people what they want. I'm your host, E, and today I'm talking about more of my favorite covers, but this time it's Stephen King themed. Since this is a discussion video, there's going to be little to no editing. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into my favorite Stephen King covers. I have one honorable mention and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more to go through after that. What I want you to do is I want you to give me your favorite Stephen King book covers. They can be paperbacks, they can be hardcovers, they can be whatever you want them to be. Leave all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Also, if you want to see my favorite limited editions that I have, I can do a list for that. Also, before we get started, I want to let you know that the Stephen King content, the Redux series, will be restarting this coming Monday. I'm not sure of the date, but today should be Wednesday that I'm uploading this, so this, this coming Monday. Uh, right off the bat, I want to start with the honorable mention, and that's because uh, while it's not my f nowhere near my favorite cover of his, I do find it very clever, and that is the cover of Full Dark, No Stars. Why do I think it's clever? Because I never, for the longest time, years and years, I had no idea why it was a woman posed like this. Uh, the, the stories in here don't really fit this cover whatsoever. Maybe a, a good marriage, maybe that, but other than that, I don't really think it fits. Come to find out, she's in the shape of a number nine, because this is his ninth collection. And as far as I know, none of the other collections have the numbers anywhere on them. So I thought this was very, very clever. So this is the honorable mention. The next one we have coming up, the next two we have coming up, are books I don't like. But the covers are absolutely gorgeous. So, so keep that in mind. This is not his best books. This is my favorite covers. Next up, we have Sleeping Beauties. I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Bazaar of Bad Dreams was going to make this list, but I don't think it fits the book at all, even though it's gorgeous. So it makes it feel like, you know, the Bazaar of Bad Dreams is a horror collection, and it's definitely not that, even though there are horror stories in it. But yeah, this one, it's understated, yet beautiful and intricate, and it really fits the book. Uh, that's one of my categories here. It has to fit the book, and I believe this one did it beautifully. Um, it's it's nice and shiny, and I don't know. It's something about a, a glossy cover, a glossy dark cover that really draws my eye, really captures it, and I think this is a great cover. Next up is one. Uh, I'm a big fan of covers like this, and this is another King book that I do not care for whatsoever. In fact, nowadays I consider it his worst. Argue with me down there in the doobly doo. That is Billy Summers. I love, love how this fits in with the book, even if I don't like the book. I love how it fits into the book with the uh, the car, with the uh, the woods torn open, and it looks like, it, it, just, it just looks 3D, like you can feel the rip in the page. And you almost can because this part is a different texture than this part. And I absolutely love the way it wraps around all the way to the back just like someone snatched off a piece of it love it all right next up is one that i don't think a lot of people like but i absolutely adore and that is the outsider i love the upside down theme of it the uh almost mirror image flipped on its head fits the book perfectly and when i saw this i knew i was in for a treat uh, and it's one of his more recent covers that I think absolutely nails uh, the feel of the book. Not only does it nail the feel of the book, but it nails the theme, the tone, all that stuff, even though some of those things can be considered the same thing. But yeah, The Outsider. Uh, just, oh. Oh, and let's discuss this real quick. Why do uh, novelists put a novel on their books? Of course it's a novel, right? Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, there are mosaic novels, there are novella collections, there are short story collections. There's all different kinds of novels. Even though mosaic novel doesn't really fall into that category because usually like books like Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell has a novel on it also and it's a mosaic novel. But it's to let people know that it's the difference between stories and a full novel experience. It's not... I guess it can be assumed that if it doesn't have stories or short stories or uh, collection on it, 
that it can be assumed that it's a novel, but that is not always the case. I purchased several short story collections thinking they were novels, and I wish they would have had you know, the right branding on them, even though that's kind of backward from what I'm getting at. I have never picked up a novel expecting a short story collection. So if you want to put that as your argument, that's fine. Next up, oh, these aren't in any discernible order whatsoever. These are just uh, seven books that I picked off the shelf that, you know, I, I absolutely love. Next up, this is an obvious one. It's one of his best covers ever, and that's Duma Key. <sighs> I don't think there is a brighter, prettier Stephen King cover than this one, and the book that is inside of this cover is no disappointment. I know some people disagree with that, but this is one of my top 20 Stephen King books at the at the very least. Might even be top 15, not quite top 10, it'd probably be like 12 or 11. I need to redo my tier list, I really do. But yeah, the, uh, the paintings coming to life fits the theme of the book. And it's just, I, the storm in the background, I think it's, I just, everything about this is beautiful. It's everything about this is beautiful i love the font work i love the mirror image the shininess of the the uh, the font so so good who was it viking were you joking about you like any book where the uh where the title is bigger than the author name well yeah we know who you were talking about i'm running out of space over here next up is a twofer and you guys know right off the bat exactly what it is since it's a twofer and if you didn't know about this you're ready to have your mind blown it is the when you connect them, Richard Bachman's The Regulators, it's it's Stephen King. We know it's Stephen King. And Desperation, they fit together perfectly. And I, I, I love it. It's seamless. Absolutely gorgeous. Great, great stuff. Man, I could look at this all day. I want to get these two without somehow without the fonts and just make a, a poster. That's what I that's what I want to do. Alright, I am officially out of room let me put that over here all right next up is one that uh had i seen this had i not been a stephen king fan this would have been an instant cover buy for me and that's nightmares and dreamscapes there's a couple reasons why there's a road there's a scarecrow there's trees and i love the font work but mainly it's the road and the uh the scarecrow in it in fact i was rather disappointed with this collection when i finally read it because even though it sort of kind of fits, it's nowhere near as... None of the stories in here are nearly as cool as this cover. You can argue with me down there in the doobly-doo if you want to. But yeah, this one. Uh, it's... I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's gorgeous. Next up, we have... Well, I said there was no discernible order, but this is easily my favorite one. Uh, other than you guys have seen it over and over again, and I'm not going to show it again. I might at the end, but I don't have it with me. Uh, I'll, I'll go grab it here in a minute. But this is my favorite Stephen King cover that is not the UK version of it, and that is Pet Cemetery. Absolutely nails the feel. It is uh, a art. It is artwork. Um, I believe it's hand painted. It had to have been back then. It's the only way they could do these things. And I even from from the font work to the to the uh, byline to church to the sh silhouette in yeah it's in a, in a graveyard so it's perfectly encapsulates what this book is about its theme its tonal quality all that stuff absolutely perfect cover now I'll be right back seamless transition would you focus please thank you. And I guess I should have grabbed this one right off the bat. I really should have, but I didn't because I figure everyone knows what my favorite Stephen King uh, book is, my favorite Stephen King book cover, all that. But there might be some people out there who don't follow the channel. Hi, by the way, consider subscribing, all that good stuff. But anyways, It by Stephen King, the UK first edition. And I always give a shout out to the person who sent it to me, Wayne Fenlon, once again, thank you very, very much for this. I had been looking for this book for over a decade, probably close to 20 years, very close to 20 years. And he finally sent me a copy free of charge. He's one of the best people I know. Thanks again, Wayne. And that's it. Those are my favorite Stephen King book covers. I would love to hear yours down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, I don't care how long your list is. You can rank all of his books if you want to. I don't, even, I, I don't know that there's a character limit, 
But please, let me know all of your favorite Stephen King book covers down there in the comments. But until next time, I'll hail the chair.